Hey, so this is John from Agile. Um, ever since we've announced the ARB uh, Air Locker uh, becoming available for the Sprinter, um, we've had a lot of people inquire about some very specific questions and some of them just general questions. So we'll try and address as many as them they can uh, here. Um, and if we get more in the future, uh, we can either address them on the website in our FAQ or um, uh, maybe on another video. So um, I think they're gonna read off some questions. All right, John, let's uh, start with the basics. What does a locking differential do? So uh, what the locking differential will do is actually turn your rear locker or your rear axle into a, a, a lock differential, which means that both axles will rotate at the same time. So currently right now you have what's a, a open differential. So if you get into a situation, you can actually have one gear or one tire spin uh, inside of the uh, differential, there'll be a series of gears in there, side gears and spider gears or pinion gears, whatever you want to call them, um, that are differentiating and they will actually allow one tire to spin more than the other. This comes in handy when you're in cer certain situations like going around a tight turn in a parking lot um, on the street. Um, it's a little bit more predictable and uh, safer to drive that way. So once you engage the locker, uh, you're basically, you're going to lock up both axles and when they're locked up, as you rotate, you put power to it, it's going to turn both rear tires at the same speed and the same time. And why do I want them uh, engaged at the same time? That's an off-road advantage, right? Yeah, so typically you're going to have that in an off-road advantage or you're, it'll be an off-road advantage when you're in a sl uh, slippery terrain. Uh, let's, let's say you're traversing up a hill and you're Right now, as the sprinter is going up a hill, it's wanting to break one of the tires as it's coming loose, um, apply brakes to the, uh, to the tire that's losing traction, and it's going to stall out the vehicle, and it's going to have challenges going up that hill. Um, now, with you engaging the locker, this will rotate the two tires at the same time um, and really uh, give you a pre you know, premier traction in the back. You work with ARB specifically <laughs> on this rear locker. So, um, I mean, we're, we're, not a, we're not a locking differential company. That's not what we do. Um, and yeah, ARB is a premium brand. They've been around for a long time. Uh, that's kind of what, that's their forte is ARB lockers. I mean, they have like specific engineers. They have five engineers. That, that's all they do is work on, uh, uh, you know, new applications and new, new technology, uh, you know, that, and they've spent, over the years, they've spent just millions of dollars uh, developing lockers and we're just in this case we're just applying this as an application you know they don't have one for the sprinter they needed some help we are able to help them with it but they're primarily they're they're the experts when it comes to the locking differentials um, they've got a you know they use forge gears uh, they use a two-piece design um, rear differential which you know it, it's it's an improvement over a three-piece design which they had back in the 90s and um, they, they really, you know, they know what they're doing. They come with a five-year warranty, uh, they, and they, they also have outstanding service. So just to clarify, does the ARB Sprinter Air Locker only lock the rear wheels? Yes, yeah. What's the weakest link in the drivetrain with the air locker installed? So uh, with an air locker installed in a vehicle, your weakest link is going to be your axle. So uh, ARB's design of their rear differential will actually make the axle itself the weak link. It's, in, in, in short, it's the fuse. Um, in, um, in the, with the Sprinter, you have an extremely large axle in there, um, but it's still gonna be the weakest link. And you really want it to be. A, ch a repair out in the field, replacing an axle, um, is going to be far cheaper and far easier to do out in the field or even if you're pulled off the trail someplace. Um, that's going to be your, this can be your cheapest fix is to replace an axle. And again, by design, that's how, that's what Airbnb's, um, what they do. Talking more about the components of the air locker, can you tell us about the gears and the construction of the locker? So what ARB has is they've got a, a, a patent timed locking mechanism. And what this does is when the, when the locker locks, it actually engages all the gears in there when they're, they have most engagement for, for strength. So um, with that, um, that ensures, again, that the axle becomes the, the, you know, the, the fuse, so to speak. Um, 
The side gear is in it. Um, they're forged. The, when you look at their components, they're, they're billet steel there. And again, they're, they're running a two-piece housing. So with that two-piece housing, um, you're not getting a lot of flex. When you have multiple pieces bolted together, you would get flex. And they learned that back in the 90s. As, as, as a lot of the markets evolved, vehicles started getting more horsepower out of them and uh, the tires started getting bigger. You know, it wasn't that long ago that we were putting, you know, 100, 100 horsepower Jeeps with, you know, 31 inch tall tires. Now you've got 200, 300 horsepower Jeeps with extremely large tires. And so they've had to evolve through, the, through that time to make a better product. Um, and, uh, um, you know, so, those components, um, along with the way that they machine things, they do everything in-house. Um, they control all that with what they do. Um, they've got just a, a, a premier product. What about the other components in the locking differential as far as the, the shims and the ring and pinion itself? So the, the ring and pinion we've sourced um, from, a, from a European company, so far their quality seems to be real, real good. Um, we've done, we have several thousand miles on two sets of them that we've been testing for some time. Um, we're not seeing any issues there. Um, the size of them, they're the, they're, they're the same as factory. All the components, this, this locker is made for a sprinter. All these parts are made for a sprinter. We're not adapting anything. So like a, a gear's a gear. I mean, it's pretty much the axle goes in there. It's the same size as stock. So um, they're pretty, pretty, pretty basic stuff. Is the locker air powered? What's required on the vehicle to run it? Yeah, so in the top of the differential, you need to have a port. Um, there's gonna be a, uh, a bulkhead fitting in there. And all we need to do is have, we need to introduce uh, pressure into that. I think it's around 110 PSI uh, is the most that you're gonna to wanna to put in there. And we can pretty much do that with any of the onboard systems. So if you have an onboard air system and it it needs to be something set up where it's like, whether it's on a tank or like our ARB twin, the twin's the most popular uh, unit that can be run out there. Then now you can air up your tires, things like that. This will automatically shut off when it comes to a pressure. You will need to have a system like that. You can't have an open air chuck, you know, for just filling up tires. Um, as well, ARB just makes a very small standalone air compressor if you wanted to put one of those on your vehicle for just operating the locker. You wouldn't use it for tires or anything. Which sprinters is this air locker upgrade available for? Can it be uh, installed on two wheel drive, dualies, T1Ns? Yeah. So from what we've seen, these will all fit all of the, I think it's 06 and up, basically all the six lug sprinters. Um, and it won't fit, the, it will not fit the T1N. Um, and it's from what we've seen by pulling information from Mercedes, this should fit the 3500. We've yet to actually take apart a 3500, but it should work on the 3500. As well, this is both two and four wheel drive, so. Is there a front locker available? Uh, at this time, no, there's no front locker. Will there be a center differential locker available? Uh, yeah, so right now, there, it's kind of what, what we've got now in the four wheel drive is a hybrid, um, transfer case, so to speak. So it's kind of like all wheel drive transfer case. It's got a, a couple of, you know, complex uh, um, planetary gears in there. And it does have a low range, but the low range, keep in mind the low range is only 1.4. So to put in a true locking differential, we're, we won't have a selectable locking differential, but we'll, we'll, we're working on a, or excuse me, a, um, transfer case, we're going to have a 50-50 transfer case that will distribute the same amount of power front and rear. And then that will also have a lower range. It's going to be three to one versus 1.4. What gear sets will be available? So the gear sets that we're stocking are going to be 392, 418, and 436. Um, we also have available 369 and 472. Um, those two we probably will not stock, but there, if there's a call form, we can we can uh, order those. 
How does the air locker interact with Mercedes electronic systems, ABS, ESP, adaptive cruise, et cetera? Yeah, so all that stuff seems to be fine. Um, you know, typically when you're off road, you're gonna turn off the ESP, which uh, is an electronic stability program. Um, so you would turn that off when you're doing like extreme driving so that you can eliminate that. But so far we haven't seen any issues with any of those. What is the maximum speed I can engage the locker and the maximum speed that I can drive with it engaged? Pretty much fast as you want, fast as the sprinter will go. Uh, so you can be going down the freeway and you can hit the locker. Um, now, obviously if you're, if you're going at, let's say you're going at slow speed and you got one wheel off the ground and you're spinning it, you're not going to want to engage the locker at that point. You're going to want to make sure that you're not differentiating between the two. But for the most part, if you're driving along, you know, when we go to use a locker, you want to not get stuck and then use a locker. You want to engage your locker before you get stuck. So in that case, if you're coming into a sandy area or a muddy area, instead of getting stuck and spinning one wheel and then trying to engage it, you would just drive, as you're driving along, just push it. And when you're off road, that's typically low speed, but to be honest with you, you could be going as fast as you want. And we've done it, so it'll engage at 70 miles an hour. How does the Sprinter ARB air locker compare to others on the market? Um, well, that would probably be a, a, you know, more of a question for the, for the folks at ARB because they're kind of the specialist at, at you know, what they do. There are a few other manufacturers on the market that are using air actuated lockers that stem from earlier days of our design. I guess they say that imitation is the greatest form of flattery. What's always hard for us to swallow is when we do see so many copies coming and, and direct copies maybe coming from very subpar uh, manufacturing warehouses. I know that's something you've had a bit of experience with. Oh uh, look, absolutely. Copies of Airlocker uh, claiming to be the same as us, claiming to be uh, the, the real deal, but um, I suppose a copy of an Airlocker is to an airlocker what gold-plated jewelry is to the uh, the real solid gold deal. They've made something that looks like our product. The money in airlocker engineering and manufacture is in the materials that's going into it and the, the processes that go into making the gearing and locking system the way we do. I, ARB is the experts. And then their components of forge gears, their warranty, um, their customer service. Um, it's going to you know, they're, they're definitely the premium, it's what they do. When will the Sprinter air locker be available? So right now it's December, they're building our lockers, the first run of them this month in Australia, and they build them all at one time. Um, we've already signed off on the, on the drawings and um, everything's looking great. And they should have them, and once they get them, on a, you know, on a ship from there, we should see them sometime, yeah, it's COVID time, so who knows, but probably late January, middle, middle of February, 2022. Uh, where can I get the locker? Is it install only or will you ship them? Yeah, so we're gonna, we have a lot of our dealers, a lot of the Agile dealers are getting set up and we'll start training them here. Uh, a few of the dealers are already capable of them from what we've, you know, what we've done uh, talking with them because we, we're very familiar with how they go together. So some of the dealers shouldn't have a problem right off. Um, some of the other dealers where they're just, say, like a van builder, they need to get trained on it, make sure they have the right tools, things like that. Uh, primarily, most of them will be installed here in Santee, and then we'll work out to the dealers. We have dealers in the Pacific Northwest, uh, Colorado, but yeah, we've, we'll start developing them through the dealers as well. And will the air locker be available for customers outside the U.S.? Yeah. Yeah, we'll sell them outside the U.S. So we're developing a, a whole kit. So we're actually building, like we're gonna have a diff cover for it. We're gonna have an air log for it. Um, a lot of like very, very specific parts where Air B makes the locking unit itself. That's what they do. So if you had say like a, a Dana axle, they would just sell the locking unit and then people would source the ring and pinions, the bearings and all that stuff themselves because that's pretty standard. With the Sprinter, it's very unique in the construction of it. The ring and pinion is welded to the factory carrier, 
So in this case, we had to source a ring and pinion. And then we've also, we've made like a diff cover. We're making a special air log for it. So when people get this kit, they'll be able to pretty, it's, it's extremely custom in how it's gonna, how it's gonna go and in, install. It's not just a universal kit for a Dana 44 axle. It's very specific to the chassis, the, the axle, even the wiring. We're gonna have a, a custom wiring harness for the, uh, for the lockers to activate them. So you've mentioned a bunch of the components that the air locker kit comes with. What is the total installed price going to be for it? So right now we're still roughing out a few numbers, but for the most part we should be, if you have an air source, um, right now we're roughly, we're still under $4,500 parts and labor installed. And that's here in San Diego. So if there's, you know, dealer rates might vary in some areas, but for the most part, we might see between, you know, as low as 4,000 maybe and as high as 5,000 installed parts and labor. And that's including the diff cover. That's like a, we have a, we're gonna have a cast iron diff cover, all the new hardware, um, the shims, we're at, and we're actually making shims so you don't, they won't have to buy them at Mercedes, um, which will make it a lot easier because Mercedes just offers the shims individually. And I think they're like 14 bucks a piece and the dealers would have to buy like a whole bunch of shims. We're gonna actually have a, a, have a special shim made for it.